I've spoken about the synergy of muscles and fascia and movement and how at Art of Motion we utilize certain myofascial training techniques to emphasize one system over the other to eventually promote a balanced interplay. So here's an example or another example on how we do that. So if you would like to join me, please join me. Like experience is the best teacher. So I'm sitting in with my legs crossed, the pelvis centered, the spine elongated, and then arms are extended out to the side. So in case you are doing the movements with me, I will mirror you in terms of cueing. So I will be speaking about your right and left. So from this elongated position, the first movement is a lateral flexion, it's a side bend. So the right side lateral flexors, they initiate the movement, especially the oblique abdominals and of course quadratus lumborum a little bit too. And then the lateral flexors on the other side take over, first working eccentrically and now they are working isometrically. So for simplicity I just stay with the oblique abdominals for now. There is no weight on the hand and I'm strengthening my muscles on the left side. Now the sternum initiates the next movement, so it's a thoracic rotation oblique abdominals from top left to bottom right are working external oblique abdominal muscle left internal oblique abdominal muscle right of course the back muscles are also involved they are more involved to lift us back up into lateral flex position and then from here no weight on that hand the other arm still is overhead, oblique abdominals in focus, the spine is centered, the lower strips connect to the top of the hip bone. The same muscles initiate, the other side takes over eccentrically and then isometrically. The shoulder blade is stabilized, the shoulder is stabilized. And now some concentric action here of the oblique abdominals external oblique abdominal right into internal oblique abdominal left contracting and then spine rotators quadratus lumborum in the lower back also engage more strongly to rotate us back up oblique abdominals in focus to center the body so we have an inhalation to elongate into that movement, stay as long as possible. The exhalation is the contraction of the oblique abdominals, so they are involved in exhalation, so it's very suitable. Inhalation, back muscles also a good match, and then exhalation, we are back with the oblique abdominals in focus. Let's do that one more time to balance it out. It's a fantastic exercise muscular strength different in different ways in focus and then back to the center you can relax your arms for a moment now we are doing another version of this exercise and bringing and will bring certain fascial qualities more to the forefront. So it's a myofascial interplay. Take more of a myofascial interplay. Take your arms out to the side. So the initiation is exactly the same length and then engagement on the right side. The left side takes over. We have still a muscular focus with, of course, fascia participating. Now we are shifting our awareness more to fascia as a gliding system. Reach down with your left hand. So the left arm is initiating the movement. You allow the shoulder blade to slightly gl glide out. The back of the rib cage to spir spiral open from the very top all the way down. So the pelvis stays as centered as possible. And then take your arm overhead again. So this is more mas muscular coordination now. And now is a technique we call domino. So the arm lowers and you just wait for the rest of your body to follow and then elastic lengthening and recoiling. 
So we have a muscularly fo focused component, that's the initiation of the movement. We have glide in focus when we are reaching down, so it needs to be a generous movement, spiraling where layers glide over one another consciously or with a movement that's big enough to feel it too or to promote it. We go back, muscular coordination, and then we are using a domino technique. So rather than engaging muscles strongly, we let the upper body follow the arm, elastic lengthening, recoiling, more rhythm, less muscular involvement. So the inhalation, muscles in focus, lengthening, strengthening glide in focus, a generous spiraling movement where layers, layers glide against one another, back to a side bend, coordinating muscles, a domino technique where of course the movement of the arm is initiated but by sense the rest just happens, elastic lengthening, recoiling right, the inhalation is promoting length, the exhalation is connecting the lowest ribs to the pelvis, allowing more spiraling open of the ribs, more glide. Arm overhead, muscular coordination. The weight of the arm takes the shoulder, takes the spine, allows the left side to lengthen, which then recalls with minimal muscular effort. So here, that was an interplay between muscles and fascia, emphasizing different qualities of the two different systems at different times. I hope you enjoyed that.